Hello, I'm New Central Maine meteorologist Jason Nappy talking eclipse and talking about wildlife 4824. That's it. First time in more than 60 years. We'll get into it here in Maine. More than 60 years since the last solar eclipse in Maine. This one obviously a big one. Big time eclipse here and we're going to be talking about all that stuff here. The bees return to their hives. OK, so we're talking about that eclipse where this is a different type of a situation here. Bees are going to get confused. OK, the darkness is going to confuse those wild animals. They're going to start to wonder, start to wonder outside. You have nocturnal animals. They're going to come outside to look and see what's going on with the eclipse. Why is it dark at 3:30 in the afternoon? Remember, this is in totality. OK, at 95% south of northern Maine, it's still going to be bright out. OK, even with that 5% of the sun, spiders are going to take down their webs when the darkness takes over. Web building is going to resume when the sun comes out. It's going to be kind of weird, right? All of a sudden, the spiders are starting to build the webs again. But artificial light I found in the research I did impacts spiders the most. OK, so now let's talk about dogs, pets, cats. Dogs are scared and confused, but not as much as during a fireworks event, which is really loud. And cats, funny thing, they generally just don't care about the eclipse, but it will depend on their personalities. If there's a personality of a cat that cares a lot about everything, they will care. Most of them, not so much. Now, large eclipse crowds, though, are going to frighten pets more than anything else. So if out in your neighborhood, there's a bunch of people gathering to look up at the sky, those, your pets are going to notice that more than the actual eclipse of the darkness. Birds are an early stage of migration. This comes from Maine Audubon talking to me about this. So especially early April, that's where the birds start to well, what's going on here. This is an early kind of stage of them migrating around the state and around the country. Purple Martins, chimney swifts drop, fly low. They're going to be looking for areas to roost, OK, because it's going to be getting dark. They're going to be confused. Some other kind of animals and birds and that are affected by this. The red winged blackbirds, common grackles, robins, sparrows, songs and other sparrows, the waterfowl, the double crested cormorants, egret, heron. They're all going to be wondering what is going on with this eclipse here. And I encourage you to check out the main Audubon for all of their the article, wonderful article that they have up. There it is at 332 totality right over Pine Knoll, Millinocket, Lincoln, Dover, Foxcroft, and then Holton will be just seconds after that. Once again, south of that, you're not in totality, and that means glasses are on the whole time. Only if you're in this shadow can you have your glasses off and only for a few minutes to be safe. Take that very seriously, uh, but regardless of the cloud cover, which is going to be good, this is still going to be a very life changing event for the nature stirring and for the animals. If you're in totality and you got the glasses off for those couple minutes here, this will be a life changing, life altering event for you up in northern Maine and western Maine only. But 95% not so much. I thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to be there. I'll have all kinds of pictures and videos on the social media on Monday afternoon as the eclipse is happening. Tune in for that later on.